This is Take No Movie Review. I'm Clinton Johnston. This week, have no fun. Blumhouse's latest is Speak No Evil, a horror thriller about a troubled family on vacation that meets a fun, hot family, goes to their isolated house for a week, and discovers that fun and hot are psychotic killers. Full disclosure, not my thing. So going into it, I wondered, why do we make this type of movie? Is Blumhouse capitalizing off our anxieties over and fear of other people? And, because fun and hot are British to our family of Yankees, living abroad in a foreign world that offers false promises of wealth, but in truth doesn't care about their well-being, are they even straight up profiting off our xenophobia? But then I thought, hold on, maybe I'm letting my issues get the best or worst of me. I mean, it's just not my thing. So maybe. But then I read an article about how Speak No Evil is a remake of the 2022 Danish film Gestern, or The Guests, which has a much grimmer, harsher, and articles, words not mine, near reactionary ending of, you got what you deserve because you couldn't step up and protect your family from me, my wife, and I kid you not, our Arab accomplice. Then I'm like, okay. So Blumhouse changed the film, especially the ending, to get just far enough away from the we're too wimpy liberal accommodating to act on clear stranger danger warning signs and found a center we could all love, the poor tortured US male. Emasculated by the weakness and neediness of his women, of course he's drawn to strong, fun, dominant father with his playful hot wife and his near mute son who can neither make demands nor talk back. But wait, says in my imagination, writer director of Speak No Evil, James Watkins, wait. You're missing my point. You only get that type of masculocentric dream family from a foundation of psychotic, violent oppression. And my new ending allows for the dominated to get their own at the end, see? Okay, fair point. Maybe. Still not my thing, but maybe. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Clinton Johnston. Catch up with us at takethemoviereview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.